good morning from the Salton Sea. <laughs> uh, I had a nice little surprise this morning. At like around 2 a.m., a buddy of mine from the LA area came here to surprise me, and boy did he. He said he got stuck in the sand out here in the Salton Sea trying to find me. And so I'm gonna go and see if I can find him and get him out of the sand. I do have a winch on the front of my truck, so that uh, will be very helpful in solving this problem. So let's go uh, track him down real quick and then we'll continue on our little journey around the Salton Sea test base or Navy base or whatever you want to call it. All right, let's get going. out here at uh, one of the explosive bunkers that's totally covered in sand. At least the entrance to it is. Let's see if I can get some. I could probably uncover this and go inside, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of room. And I'm not into working that hard right now. It's more of a exploration trip, not a excavation trip. But uh, let's go check out the other places here. Here's part of the road, the ancient road. Ancient now, looks like a old civilization. Doesn't seem radioactive, but definitely some weird tickles on this. Can't really uh, narrow it down. Might just be naturally occurring stuff, who knows. Okay, now we're out at the second explosive slash ammo bunker out here. And uh, this one you can actually walk into. There should be some sand in here. Um, maybe, usually there is every time I've been in here. Let's uh, check it out together. It's like right over there. I'll see if uh, there's anything radioactive around here too. I get like weird hits walking around here and I think it's just naturally occurring like uranium or thorium or it might just be particles of depleted uranium that blew up a long time ago. Hard to tell, but uh, let's check this place out.
Yeah, pretty dark back in here. It's nice and cool though. I like it's really that hot out there, but still it's pretty cool. So they got a little vent here. Well, looks like it's a beer can graveyard now. dog site building. Now this is the building where they would actually take nuclear weapons and store them either inside the building here or out in the open to see how the elements here at the Salton Sea would actually affect the explosives and all the components inside of the nuclear weapon. So uh, this is kind of a cool building. It's uh, kind of intact. This wall fell over probably like four years ago, three years ago. And yeah, it's uh, looks like it's seen a lot of uh, shooting range time in here. It's also, I think, one of the sites on the EPA report where they said they actually found some sort of uh, radiological contamination, but we're unable to verify that later on. So we'll see what I find. The yeah. So this is the old airfield out here at the Salton Sea test base. And uh, looks a little beat up. I don't think you could really land a plane here anymore. But it's uh, interesting. This place looks like it's uh, seen a little bit of training after the base was closed down. I believe uh, troops, Marines trained here for a desert storm. That's the reason why we're finding like so many machine gun links and uh, spent blank casings around the area. It's probably because of those training exercises. So this is the lab equipment building pad. I mean, there's no building here out here anymore. 
But I figured just take a little poke around, see what we find. A bunch of drains here. Hmm. A little higher than normal. All right, heading out to the land target, which is the land-based target as opposed to the water target that's out in the Salton Sea. So if there was anything around here, this is the place where we'd find it. Now, was it like a platform or something, or what was it? Yeah, I think it was like a triangle, like a reflective target. <laughs> yeah, do you ever wonder what steel belting looks like? There you go. So this is the land target. Right where the bombs would be coming down. I don't find anything here. It's a couple of like unusual kind of blips, as I would put them, like little tickles on the Geiger counter, but nothing too major. I think that's gonna wrap it up here for the Salton Sea test base. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, please consider visiting my website, uraniumstore.com, and seeing if there's uh, anything there that uh, if you like buying like a radioactive rock or a radioactive antique that I happen to find on my little journeys. But until next time, see you later. Take it easy.